Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review for League A and Eredivisie. I actually didn't see too much but I watched one game of these two leagues which, of these two leagues, which was actually from the Eredivisie. Decided on Lille, Lille, one of the big winners of this round in League A. But yeah, let's jump right into it. The one game that I watched was actually the first one uh, on the slate for the Eredivisie between William Dway and PSV and I thought yeah might be interesting, I said it kind of in the passing in my review video last time. I will see what Willem Dewey is made of when they face PSV, who had just come off this big loss to Feyenoord more or less. Um, I think it was the previous weekend. So yeah, uh, it, was an inter it was an intense game uh, where I really thought that PSV couldn't find the footing. Uh, Willem Dway kind of outworked them. Yes, PSV is the more talented squad and you could see that. But from a free free kick, Zahavi really has it beautifully into his own goal. They get the e equalizer, although it, 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 uh, at first I thought maybe they will take take it back because there was the, the Willem Dway defender kicked out. Uh, but it was all okay, Zahavi was uh, there first and you could see the danger that actually Willem Dway, um, PSV have on front. By the way, I also decided Willem Dwey is probably one of those teams if I would expand my um, Eredivisie collection. Willem Dwey shirts are really really nice and uh, there's a they have a robe as a supplier which was very interesting. And then uh, the game ebbed a little bit back and forth. Uh, as I said, more initiative on the PSV side but Willem Dwey really digging in and then they get the winner from a shot where the goalie uh, completely scuffs it and then the picture went even out. <laughs> they were probably very wild celebrations. And Willem Dway are the winners and have a uh, wonderful start to the season for themselves. Also has to be said that uh, two seasons ago they actually qualified for Europe because the season was abandoned early. They had a horrible last season where they almost got relegated. Now they're up again so I'm uh, looking forward where they are going. I was also asking myself what's wrong with Ajax only scoring three. Still 3-0 unbeaten. Uh, absolute crazy game between Feyenoord and uh, Nyming. Uh, Feyenoord had a 2-0 lead and Nyming turn, turned around. Uh, before the half they equalized and then in the 75th they actually got the lead. But then in the remaining time uh, Thiel and Dessas turned around for Feyenoord to end up 4-5-3 winners. And Feyenoord as you can see is actually climbing, 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 climbing. They had a really good string of results coming up. Uh, also, AZ is on the winning sheet, which is something uh, we haven't seen in, in a while. 5 0 against the go ahead Eagles, who get a little bit of the occasional beatdown at the moment as well. Also, Cambur, the ones who lost to 9 0 to Ajax, 4 0 away to Sparta Rotterdam, a pretty impressive result. Also, has to be said that did not uh, ne that came also a bit as a surprise, um, if I may say so. In so quite a few remarkable re results and for me the big question is of course now has PSV hit the wall. I mean they started so uh, early in the Champions League season, were really dominant. Then you don't qualify for the Champions League in kind of heartbreaking circumstances. And the results since have been hit and miss and kind of maybe, I don't want to say to peak too early because you need it to, but uh, they are kind of like going through this phase where you have to recover the strength any, any, anymore and the big question is whether Feyenoord and Willem Dway are really for real. So, uh, as I said, interesting stuff in the Eredivisie. Um, in Liga, Lille getting a win, getting a win. Maybe the champions are slowly getting back on track. I think the first real positive sign was when they oh, should have beaten Wolfsburg in the Champions League. So let's see, they'll play Salzburg, I think, uh, tomorrow. Jonathan David with a double and a little probably breathing a little sigh of relief. PSG, that scoreline should never have been that close. I mean, Idrissa Gay uh, scores an early goal and then they're missing chances left and right. I mean, everyone who can miss did miss. And it's only in stoppage time when Julian Draxler with his first touch, more, more or less after his Neymar assist, makes it 2-0 and gives PSG uh, the win. Lyon dropping points to Lorient. Uh, they were reduced to 10 men in the 15th. And then uh, Lorient gives him Lorient the lead. This is one of those names that actually fit very well with the team. However, they um, 
Toko Akambi gives them an equalizer and a uh, battle for a point. I mean, that's I th that could prove huge. Um, another outstanding result. I mean, we had Monaco winning again. Um, Mets getting getting a win. They were bottom of, 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 of the week, kind of handing a little bit now to Brest of being the team that uh, should, should be out. Saint Etienne, deep trouble against Nice, but I think the big result kind of is Marseille losing at home to Loss. Loss, we never knew whether they could keep up their good form from last season. Obviously they can. Had a 2-0 lead before the half. Uh, Marseille gets it to 2-2, but then uh, pretty impressive. Uh, Lance per performance system runaway 3 2 winners through Said. So it was a lot of remarkable stars. I mean, most of the teams that were kind of down and whatever, either dropping points or going, it's all going PSG's way and PSG is not pl uh, playing all the, all the well, but they are far ahead in the table, ahead of anyone else. And then it's almost like, like in Austria, everyone very squished together. So uh, it's. A very interesting early season, but we know already who will become champions. Uh, I think this is the way I would say it. Um, let's see. I don't think there will be a title challenge, but the, uh, the rest of the uh, race will be quite exciting. We have a pretty inter interesting game coming up with Lille against Marseille. Uh, I want to see whether Lille can keep it up. Rennes against PSG? Maybe. Maybe there is, but I, I don't understand. And we have the big derby Saint Etienne against Lille. Well, was not a big video, I did not see much, but you know, that's also the point of it. I decided to give you my thoughts of all about I have seen result-wise and where things, things will, will be going. I'm also curious whether Marseille is now hitting a wall, because also they had a bright start and now results kind of are leveling out a little bit. In any case, if you have anything to on those links, please drop a line below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day!